Hey everyone, this is video number one in the series of partnership. I would say that uh, a learning of ratio and proportion is incomplete without learning partnership. If you do not understand these shortcuts, probably aapko calculation bahut lambe jayenge. So how should you be simplifying your calculation is going to be objective of this video. So let us get started and try to simplify this very first problem out here. It says that in a business, there are two partners. So in these kind of problems, you would be getting said there are partners, they are investing money, they are getting out of the business, they are making profits, how much profit A should be getting, how much profit B should be getting, those kind of problems you're going to get over here. So now in, in business, two partners A and B, is, they are investing 500 rupees each. So A is investing 500 rupees and B is investing 500 rupees and they are investing for a duration of one year. The business generates a profit of 100 rupees at the end of the year. एक साल के बाद में अगर बिजनेस को 100 रुपीस का प्रॉफिट हुआ, how much A should be getting, how much B should be getting, your common sense should be telling you that profit should be distributed equally between A and B. A should get 50 रुपीस and B should be getting 50 रुपीस, isn't it? अगर अगर आपको इसको लगाना हो, समझना हो, अगर आपको ये समझ में आ गया तो अच्छी चीज है। अगर नहीं समझ में आया तो मेरे को कुछ लिखने दो पहले आप। It says that, so this theory says that if if the if the time period of investment is same in this case it is one year a is investing for one year and b is also investing for one year then then the profit should be then the profit should be distributed in the ratio of their individual investments. Now in this situation, when what did I say? When the time period of investment is same, then in what ratio the profit should be distributed in the profit should be distributed in the ratio of the investment. Ab A ne kitna invest kiya? 500. B ne kitna invest kiya? 500. What is going to be the ratio of investments of A and B? It is 1 is to 1. So what, is, what does this mean? Half of the total profit should be given to A and half of the profit should be given to B. So half of 100 and half of half of 100 that comes out as 50 rupees and 50 rupees so what is that you're learning from this question from this slide is agar time period same hai so in what ratio you should be distributing you should be distributing profit in the ratio of their individual investments now let us solve this problem if you understand this let us solve this problem it says that in a, in a business a is investing 500 rupees and B is investing 1000 rupees for one year, for one year, time period is same. So profit should be distributed in what ratio? The ratio of investments. So A and B, what is the ratio of investments? 500 and, and 1000. So this comes out as one is to two. What does this mean? This is one third of the profit should be going to A whereas two third of the profit should be going to B. So one third of in this case 150 and two third of 150, 50 rupees should be given to A and 100 rupees should be given to B. Kya ye baat aapko samajh mein aai? What did I say? If the time period is same, yaha pe, if the, if the time is same, then the profit is going to be distributed in the ratio of their individual investments. Now, read this one, read this one. What does this say? This says that in a business, A has invested 500 rupees for one year, whereas B has invested 1000 rupees, but not for one year. Now the time period is different. It is six months for B. So, and the business is generating 150 rupees profit. How much A should get? How much B should be getting? Now, understand this. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty simple question to solve. I would say that A and A and B.
let us write down amount of amount of a and b a is investing 500 rupees whereas b is investing 1000 rupees what is the time period for a it is it is 12 months right and what is the time period for b it is 6 months now common sensically though this question can be answered very easily because if you, if you look at B, B is investing twice the amount of A, but for half the time period. So your gut feeling must be telling you that the profit should be distributed equally. Now, in a situation when the, when the time period are not same, if they are investing, the partners are investing their capitals in different, for, for different time periods, then what is that you should be doing? So, profit should be distributed in the ratio of their amount and time. So, what is that you should be doing? You should be multiplying these two values. Now, if you multiply these two values, what is that you are going to get? 6000 and 1000 into this, this is 6000. So, in what ratio A and B should be getting the profit? 6000 is to 6000 which is 1 is to 1 which is 1 is to 1 what does that mean half the profit half of the profit a should be getting and half of the profit b should be getting 75 and 75 each so what did you learn from this question you learn that if the time period is not same then multiply amount investment and time in order to find out the ratio of profit okay so what did you learn you learned these two things we just described for you when the time period of investment is same, then the profit should be distributed in the ratio of their capital invested, money invested. And when the time period of investment is not same, then in order to find out profit percentage, you should be multiplying their respective time period and investment. So that's how you can do this problem. Now, let us try to solve this one. It says that A and B started a business investing 22,500 rupees and 35,000 rupees, 35,000 rupees. Out of a total profit of 13,800 rupees, find the share of B. Understand, they are not even talking about the time period. What does this mean? The dono ka time period same hai, tabhi toh baat nahi kar raha. Toh what, is, what, what does this mean? A and should be getting profit in the ratio of their investments, so which is coming out as 22,500 and then 35,000 if you simplify these if you simplify this two zeros are gone then you are left with two, 225 and 350 now if you simplify this further this is 25 into into 9 and this is 25 into 14 so 25 further is gone 9 and 14 you cannot simplify this any further so what does that mean the profit should be distributed in the ratio of 9 and 14. So, B should be getting 14 divided by 9 plus 14 which is 23 and A should be getting 9 divided by 14 plus 9 which is 23 and what is the total profit? The total profit is given to you as 13,800 rupees. So, 13,800 and 13,800. If you simplify this, you will get how much A is getting and how much B is getting. But their, what did I say? Their, their profits are getting distributed in the ratio of 9 is to 14. That means out of the total profit, 9 over 23 will be given to A and 14 over 23 should be given to B. As simple as that. Now, if you simplify, you, you will get your answer. So, 23, this is 6. And 14 into 6 comes out as 84. What is the answer out here? C is the answer. Now, let us solve this problem. It says that Amit started a business with a sum of 60,000. Rohit joined him 8 months later. Now, the time periods are not same. And when the time periods are not same, what is that you should be doing? You should be multiplying investment and time. So, I am going to write, I am going to write Amit and then and then go ahead and then this is amount and time and then profit is amount into time now 
Let us write down the values out here. Let us write down the values. Amit is investing 60,000. Isn't it? Rohit is investing 35,000. Amit is investing for two years. And Rohit is coming. So, Amit is investing for either you write two years or you write 24 months. And Rohit is coming in the business eight months later. So, Rohit is there in the business for how many months? Rohit is there in the business for 24 minus 8, which is 16 months. So, this should be written as 24 months and then 16 months. Did you understand? And what did I say? You need to, you need to find out ratio of profit by multiplying these two values. And I say that, no, this is too huge. Why should I multiply these values? If we have to do this, then we will waste a lot of time. Waste ho now, the another technique that you should be learning. Rather than writing the amounts, what is that you should be writing in order to simplify your problem? In order to simplify your problem, you should rather be writing the ratio of their investment. So, if I write ratio of investment, so this is coming out as what? For A and B, 60,000 rupees A is investing, whereas 35,000 B is investing. And if I need to find out their, their ratios, so this is coming out as 60 and 35. If we, if we simplify further, this is coming out as 12 and 7. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna multiply 60,000 rupees 24 months. I will write this ratio as this value as 12 and 7. Did you understand this thing? This this makes your problem way too simple if you understand this thing. Or or partnership problem में लोग गलती यही करते हैं कि लोग बड़ी-बड़ी values को calculate करते हैं और वो बोलते हैं कि problem complicated है नहीं नहीं problem complicated नहीं आपका approach complicated है. आपने यही सीखना है. कि आप पहले तो अमाउंट का रेशियो लिखो एंड देन यू शुड आल्सो बी राइटिंग व्हाट इज द रेशियो ऑफ टाइम पीरियड सो ए इज इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर 24 मंथ्स एंड बी इज इन्वेस्टिंग फॉर 16 मंथ्स सो दिस रेशियो इज कमिंग आउट एज 3 इज टू 2 व्हाट इज दैट आई एम गोइंग टू बी राइटिंग फॉर ए 3 एंड फॉर बी आई एम गोइंग टू बी राइटिंग 2 नाउ डोंट यू नाउ टेल मी इजंट इट सिंपल टू मल्टीप्लाई 12 एंड 3 इंस्टेड ऑफ 60000 एंड 24 सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई 12 एंड 3 व्हाट इज दैट यू आर गोना गेट 36 and 7 into 2, what is that you should get? 14. So the profit should be distributed in what ratio? 36 and 14. Problem simple. Hua na bhai. And if you and if you do so, if you do so. So profit should be distributed in 36 is to 14, which is coming out as 18 is to 7. And that is what they are asking you. In what ratio profit should be distributed? This option out here. 18 is to 7. Problem simplified ho gaya. Kya aapne bade calculation kiye nahi kiye. Kya aapko aapne calculations avoid karne hai? Bilkul avoid karne hai. So there are two steps that you are learning. What is that you, you are writing? Before you find out the ratio of profit, you should simplify amount and time and then you should multiply them. Now. So this is what you are learning. This is what you are learning here. So write, write it down. In your copy for your uh, revision this is what we had in this video i'm gonna i'm gonna be solving uh, more of such problems better problems in video number two so in video number one we, we talked about the theory in video number two we will be solving five six better problems based on this understanding so i'm going to be seeing you there till then bye bye and take care